Step to Christ, the test of discipleship. It is true that there may be an outward correctness of deportment without the renewing power of Christ. The love of influence and the desire for the esteem of others may produce a well-ordered life. Self-respect may lead us to avoid the appearance of evil. A selfish heart may perform generous action. By what means, then, shall we determine whose side we are on? Who has the heart? With whom are our thoughts? Of whom do we love to converse? Who has our warmest affection and our best energies? If we are Christ, our thoughts are with Him, and our sweetest thoughts are of Him. All we have and are is consecrated to Him. We long to bear His image, breathe His spirit, do His will, and please Him in all things. Those who become new creatures in Christ Jesus will bring forth the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 They will no longer fashion themselves according to the former lust, but by the faith of the Son of God they will follow in His steps, reflect His character, and purify themselves even as He is pure. The things they once hated, they now love, and the things they once loved, they hate. The proud and self-assertive become meek and lowly in heart. The vain and supercilious become serious and unobtrusive. The drunken become sober and the profligate pure. The vain customs and fashions of the world are laid aside. Christians will seek not the outward adorning, but the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. Step to Christ, page 58.